over the past year or so, an increasing amount of my work has actually been connected with uh, uh, Canada and Latin American trade. So the interesting thing about that is, um, is that when I deal with organizations like Export Development Canada, uh, Western University uh, in, in Ontario, and uh, BRASCAN, they're all saying the same thing, and that is that um, Canadians need to pay even more attention to Latin America. Um, get to know their people, their cultures, and their opportunities. And here's why. As uh, EDC economist uh, uh, Peter Hall would tell you, uh, as, as valued as our trade relationship is with the United States, uh, it has fallen and continues to uh, decline in degrees from better than 85% of our total export trade a number of years ago to less than 75% of trade today. At the same time, over that same period, uh, growth of uh, activity in the emerging markets is uh, heading north of 12%. So it behooves us to explore these opportunities. Uh, his advice is to start with the world's fastest growing economies, the BRIC nations, of which of course uh, Brazil is the B. Um, and beyond that, uh, to look to the uh, entry markets uh, and clutter of uh, markets around that, such as Mexico. Um, his colleague, uh, Vice President of International Business Development, Todd Winterhall, suggests that when looking at Latin America, that you really should look at the bigger picture, which is South by South trade. Uh, this entire uh, block, as I think a number of our speakers have pointed out today, is becoming increasingly uh, interdependent and the trade is growing among them. So EDC's advice is start with uh, 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 one market, but look to see how you can build bridges into markets beyond that. It's going on today. Um, are those markets open for business? I know from my work in the mining sector, for example, in Colombia, uh, they are very much open for business. I met the uh, uh, new representative for uh, Colombia here in Vancouver recently, Yaro, he's a super guy, he's very approachable, just like their policies. Um, the World Bank in 2011 ranked Colombia among the uh, top three business-friendly uh, places to do business in Latin America and among the top five countries worldwide for investor protection. So those are strong points. 